اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ and welcome to today's class I hope you're all doing well and you had a lovely weekend uh, we will be starting our class now I'd like to start by going over some etiquettes uh, of the classroom please make sure that you are logged in with the, your correct ID also make sure your video icons are off um, meaning they have a red line across it to indicate that your videos are off. Also, please make sure that you do not uh, raise your hands during uh, the class. I can see that some students are already raising their hands. Please do not do so um, as it does disturb the mic list and we are not able to choose students accurately. So please make sure you lower your hands um, and do not raise them uh, unless I ask you to during the class. At the end of the um, class, you'll be given your homework, so please make sure you write that down quickly um, and make sure you listen carefully throughout the whole class as well. Okay? So we will start our class with a prayer from the Holy Quran. Let me just admit some more students and I will choose a student to read the, the prayer with me. A1193. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum How are you? Good. Alhamdulillah. Are you able to hear me okay? Yes. And you can see my screen okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I have um, the prayer highlighted in front of you. So just repeat after me, please. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajeem. A'udhu billahi rajeem. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajeem. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajeem. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Rabbish rahli. Rabbish rahli. Sadri. Sadri. Wa yassir li. Wa yassir li. Amri. Amri. Excellent. Well done. That was really nicely read. And the translation, can you read this for me? Lord, expand my mind and take my task easy for me and remove every Im impediment, from? impediment from my speech that people may understand easily what I say and grant me a helper from my family. Excellent, well done. And this is from Surah Taha in the Holy Quran, verse 26 to 27. Okay, excellent. Really nice to read. Jazakumullah for your help. Okay, so we'll get straight into what we will be learning today. So we will be learning a new rule today, um, which we um, you will be asked to revise um, after this class. And also you'll be uh, revising it um in a, in a later class as well but before i do that i would like to go over um the rule of sukoon and tashdeed again and in this class we will be quickly going over a step-by-step -step, um kind of uh powerpoint to help you understand the rule of sukoon and tashdeed just to revise your minds and also help you to really understand the rule OK, so what I'll do is I'll quickly go over uh, this power, PowerPoint presentation that we've made um, uh, on how to correctly uh, apply the rule of Sukun. OK, so Sukun step by step guide. OK, so everybody listen carefully so that you are able to revise what you've already learned before as well. So you are able to um, this class will you will take all this information that we're giving you and also apply it to today's class okay so this is a word um, that's found in the holy quran um, and i'm sure you all come across this um, what you do is you look at the first letter okay the letter is alif and it has a stroke of fatha as you can see over here okay the next letter is lam and it has a sukun on top of it okay so this over here is a sukun, just to remind you. The letter, like I said, is lam. 
because the lam has a sakin on it, it becomes a sakin lam. And a sakin indicates, a sukun indicates that there will be joining. So what that means is that the first letter will be joined onto the lam. Alif will be joined onto lam. As you can see over here. Now, what you do, step three, make the joined sound. Make sure both letters are sounded. So we join the alif to the lam nice and softly. Al. Al. Now you do the same with the next two letters. So the next two letters are ha. So the letter is ha and the stroke on it is fatha. And the next, the next letter is meme and it has a sukun on top of it. So it becomes a meme, sakin meme which again indicates that there will be joining. So you have to join the ha to the meme. So let's do that. Hum. Hum. Okay. And the final letter. So actually first what we'll do is we will join. Uh, we'll try and read the first bit with the second bit. Okay. First we join the alif to the lam and then we join the ha to the meme. Alham. Alham. Okay, put this together, alham. And then you have the final letter, which is dal, and it has a stroke of dhamma. So one second, du, du. Now all together, making sure that all the letters are articulated okay and do not rush through it. So say it nice and um, slowly. But also don't linger around too much. Just say it, okay? Alhamdu. Alhamdu. Okay? So that was just a quick presentation on how to correctly apply the rule of sukun. Now I will do the same for tashdeed. You can see that this is another word uh, found in the Holy Quran. And you can see that the first letter is alif. And it has the stroke of fatha. The next letter is kha. And there is a shadda on top of it. Now I hope you all remember that a shadda is this small miniature W looking sign. Okay, this is a shadda. And any letter with a shadda on it is a mushaddad letter. So this makes it a mushaddad kha. So what you do is you... Again, this indicates that there will be joining. So you have to join the alif to the kha. For now, just ignore this fatha on top of the um, kha. We will only focus on this. So what we do is we join the two um, letters together. So if, ignoring the fatha, if I join the alif to the kha with force because of the mushadda, because of the shadda, I say ah, ah. But then there is also a Fatha on top of the kha. So what I do is I make the same sound, ah, but then I add a fatha sound to it. Ah, ah, Okay. And then the the final letter is ra, and it has a fatha. So one second, ra. Now all together, ah, ah, Okay, so over here, I join the alif to the kha, and then I produce the sound of the fatha. Okay, so that was again just a quick revision of uh, tashdeed, and I hope you all now remember how to uh, apply the rule of tashdeed, like you've learned in previous classes. Okay, in today's class, what we will do is we will be moving on to the uh, rule of nasalization, or in other words, Runna. So you might have heard of this word, runna. And I will read this paragraph for you. And whilst we are doing this lesson, I want you to keep in mind those two presentations that we've just gone through, because that will really help you to tie in all the information that we've given you so far. So runna means a sustained nasal sound. So sustained nasal sound means uh, a nasal sound that remains, that stays. Okay, 
that is emitted from the nose pipe. So runna means a nasal sound that is uh, made from the nose pipe and it stays in your nose for a, a while. Okay, and we will find out for how long you have to make that nasal sound. Now the two letters, meme and noon, are the only two letters which emit the sustained nasal sound when they bear the sign of shadda. So what this is saying is that two letters, meem and noon, when they have a shadda on top of them, you have to make that nasal sound. Okay? The duration of runna should not be less than two counts or two seconds. So that nasal sound that you make, it should only be said for two seconds. Okay, should only be uh, pronounced for two seconds. So what's the two things we've learned? The two letters are meme and noon. So those are the two letters that are the runna let, um, that have the, that apply the rule of runna to. So when meme and noon have a shadda on top of them, so shadda means this little W sign over here. When meme and noon have shadda on top of them, then you produce a nasal sound for two seconds. Okay, and I will tell you some examples now, which will hopefully, inshallah, make it much more clearer for you. Okay, so right now, if you're not understanding, it's okay. We will practice and inshallah, you will understand. Exercise 14.1 eases you into the rule. And if you look at the first example over here, you see that the first letter is meme and it has a kasra underneath it the next letter is also a meme and it has a shadda on it and a fatha and we've just learned that if meme or noon have a shadda on top of them we produce a nasal sound for two seconds in this example meme has a shadda on it so the, the rule of runna applies over here. So instead of saying mimma, straight away mimma, I'm going to hold that meme sound in my nose for two seconds. So listen carefully, I would say the correct way is mimma, mimma. Okay, so I am holding that meme sound in my nose for two seconds because meme has a shadda on it. Okay, so whereas before you might have said it as mimma, now you will say it the correct way, which is mimma. Okay, another example over here, you have the letter tha with a dhamma and then you have a meme with a shadda. Again, the rule of runna applies here. So instead of saying thumma, you will say thumma. I'm holding the meme sound in my nose for two seconds. Thumma. Okay, I'm not elongating the sound of ma out for two seconds. I'm only saying the meme sound for two seconds in my nose. Okay, thumma letting it go uh, uh, very quickly at the end, okay? So what I will do is I will unmute a student right now and hopefully, inshallah, they will be able to understand uh, the rule and we will go over some examples. So let's choose a student. Let's try... Um, let's... Um, students, please do not raise your hands because otherwise I will lower your hands and um, there will be no point, okay? So let's try A1214. Um, A1214, A1, Aslam is here. Walikum salam. Can you write your ID down? A1214. Okay. So are you understanding the rule that we're learning today? Yes. Okay. So can you tell me quickly what you think the rule is? 
Uh, the rule is, I can't remember. Okay, so the rule is, if Mim and Noon, uh, if they have shut down it, it produces a nasal sound for two seconds. Okay, so right now, we are practicing Mim Wunna. Okay, because over here in this first example, Mim has a shut down on top of it. We join the Mim to the Mim, but we hold the Mim sound in our nose for two seconds. Okay, so follow after me. Mim Wunna. Yeah, just a bit longer. Hold that mean huh? sound in your hand. Hold the mean sound in your nose for two seconds. Mim. Well done. Much, much better. Okay. It's just about taking a deep breath and then saying it nicely. Okay. Let's try okay. the next Hello after me. Thum. Perfect. That was much, much better, okay? Because these two memes, they have a shut down it, that is why we are producing that two-second nasal sound. Nasal sound means a noise that comes from your nose. So when you say, mm, that is coming from your nose. So that's why. Okay. Can you say that again, please? Soma. Perfect. Excellent. Now let's move on to the next example. Over here, you have a jeem with a fatha followed by a meem and it has a shadda. Okay? So that means you join the jeem to the meme, holding that nasal sound in your nose for two seconds because of the shadda. And then you have the tanween. Okay? So just follow after me. Jam. Jamman. Okay, excellent. That was nearly perfect. But just remember that, uh, you know, when you did the rule of Tanween, yeah, you learned that when you have Tanween, you have that ending sound, Noon, you have to hold that for two seconds. So, Jamman. Jamman. Okay. At the end, instead of saying jamman, you say jamman. Jamman. Okay. You know, at the end, you have a noon sound. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Say that noon sound out for two seconds as well. Jamman. Jamman. Perfect. Excellent. So that's two things you're doing there. You're producing a nasal sound for the meme and then also for that noon sound at the end because of the tanween. Okay. So everybody, just a reminder, when you did the rule of tanween, you learned that at the end, when you have the noon sound, you have to elongate that for two seconds because that also comes under na uh, nasalization. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Over here, you have Ayn with a Fatha and a Neem with a Shadda. So again, the rule of Ghunna applies over here because you have Neem with a Shadda. So, Amma. Amma. Excellent. One more time, everyone. Amma. Perfect. That was really, really good. Okay. I'm, I'm going to ask you to try one for me without my help. Okay? Okay. Can you try this one? Just forget the lam at the end. Just do the, this first bit. Hummi. Perfect. Excellent. Really, really good. Okay? So what you did there is you held the meme sound in your nose for two seconds because the meme has a shut down it. Hummi. Hummi. And then la. La. Humila. Humila. Perfect. Excellent. That was really, really good. Mashallah. A1214. Jazakumullah for your help. Keep practicing this rule, okay? I know it's a bit more difficult. But keep practicing. Jazakumullah. Okay. So we will move on to another student. 
let's try a Nasira this time. N1285. Um, N1285. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Have I got the right ID? Yes. N1285. Yep. Okay, excellent. Well done. Are you understanding the rule that we're learning today or are you finding it a bit difficult? I'm finding it a bit difficult. Okay, I can understand. It is a bit more advanced and it will take some time, but we will do it in today's class and uh, we will give you homework and then you can practice it, practice it at home and then we will do it again, inshallah, I believe on Friday's class we will revise it. Okay, so we will try and um, do as much as we can today and you will carry on with it. Okay, so we are learning about the Ghunna and we are learning that when you see a meme or a noon, the letters meme or noon with a shadda on it, you pronounce a nasal sound in your nose for two seconds. Okay, so I hope you were listening to the student before you read your reading. So can you try and do this one on your own? Can you see where my hand is? Yeah. Okay, so can you try and read this like you think it should be read? Summa. Perfect, excellent, perfect. That was really, really good, mashallah. So this meme has a shadda, so which makes it a meme runna, okay? Okay. So that's why you produce a nasal sound. So you produce a meme sound in your nose and hold it for two seconds. Okay, excellent. Okay. Now what we will do is we will move on to this example and I want you to just follow after me. Okay, so okay. over here, the first letter is ha with a fatha. So you say ha. ha. Excellent, ha. ha. Then you have a lam with a dhamma and then a meme with a shadda and then a fatha. So what you do is because meme has a shadda, this is a meme runna, which means you have to make that nasal sound in your nose for two seconds. So this bit, join the lam to the meme. Lum Lum Excellent. Really nicely read. So should we try say it all together? Halum Halum Perfect. Excellent. Really, really good, mashallah. Let's try the next one. This is a tha with a fatha and then a meme runna because of the shadda. So you hold that nasal sound in your nose for two seconds. Thumma. Thumma. Perfect. Excellent. Really, really good, Masha. You're reading really well. Let's try the next one. Do you want to do this on your own? Yeah. Okay, off you go. Lumma. Okay, this first letter is an alif, yes? So it has a dhamma on it and then a meme and this has a kasra underneath it. Okay, so your, your voice will go down when you say it. Ummi. Ummi. Excellent. Okay, so alif with a dhamma and then a meme shadda. Okay, meme with a shadda. So you join the two letters together. And then you hold that nasal sound out in for two seconds and then you produce the kasra sound. Ummi. Ummi. Perfect. Excellent. Now the next one, the first bit is simple. Fa. Fa. Excellent. Next bit, you have a ta with a fatha and a meme, runna, because of the meme with the shadda. And then you produce the fatha sound. Tamma. Tamma. Excellent. Now all together. Fatamma. Fatamma. Excellent. Really, really good, mashallah. And the last one over here, I want you to try by yourself, okay? So take your time. See what letter it is. 
and which if it's a one na sound you have to make how long you have to say it for okay so just take a careful look at this and try and say this um okay you just stretch the ha out to sound out for too long okay so ha has a simple fata so one second ha like that but because it's joining on to the meme with the shadda you have to produce the nasal sound for two seconds hum hum excellent well done really really good i can understand that this is a bit more difficult but inshallah with practice you will get better and better okay so that was really really well done um you read really well just keep practicing that rule okay 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 then jazakumullah we'll move on to another student let's try a different this time uh, let's try A1202. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Is that A1202? Yes. Okay, excellent. So, are you understanding the rule okay? Yeah, I'm good at it. Okay, perfect. So, we'll do this rule with you and then we'll move on to um, Noon Gunna later, okay? So, let's yeah. do one rule with you. I want you to repeat after me, please. Okay. This is a meme with a dhamma. Yeah. Mu. Mu. Excellent. Then you have a scene with a fatha. And then you have a meme with a, um, a shadda, which makes it a meme gunna. And meme gunna needs to be produ uh, produced that nasal sound in your nose for how many seconds? Two. Two seconds. Excellent. So let's just try that first and then we will apply the tanween later. Okay. Yeah. Musam. Musam. Excellent. Now what we will do is we will add the tanween sound. Mm -hmm. Now tanween again, like I said before, you've learnt this. Tanween again produces a nasal sound of two seconds when you say it at the end, okay? Yes. Musam. Man. Musam. Man. Excellent. Well done. Really, really good. Okay. So you're producing two nasal sounds in this one word. One for the meme and then one for the noon at the end when you produce that, the noon sound. Okay. One more time on your own. Musamman. Excellent. Well done. Really nicely read. Okay. Now what we will do is we will move on to noon gunna. So far you've only looked at meme gunna. Meme one nice when meme has a shutdown on top of it. Now we will look at examples of where noon has a uh, shutdown on it and to produce that noon runna sound. Okay, so exercise 14.2, these are all examples of noon runna. Yeah. So where noon has a shutdown on it, so you yeah. produce that noon nasal sound in your nose for two seconds. Okay. So in this first example, you have alif with a kasra and then a noon with a shadda, which means you have to join the alif to the noon, hold that nasal sound for two seconds, and then you produce that fatha sound at the end. So repeat after me. In. In. Excellent. Well done. A lot of students, they might make that mistake of stretching the sound out for too long at the end. So instead of saying in. They say in uh, and that's wrong because there's only a fatha on it. So you must look at the stroke that is found on top of the letter as well to understand how long at the end you must stretch the sound out for. Okay, yeah. let's do the next one. This is quite similar, but the alif now has a fatha. An An Perfect. Can you do the next on your own? Yeah. Man. Excellent. So you join the meme to the noon, hold that nasal sound out for two seconds, and then produce that fatha sound. Man. Man. Excellent. That was really, really good, mashallah. Okay. We'll do one more with you. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. So over here, 
you have alif with a kasra, then a noon gunna because of the noon they shut down it. Then you produce the fatha sound, and at the end you have ha with a inverted dhamma. So first bit inna inna hu hu inna hu. Innahu. Excellent. Well done. That was really, really nicely read. Jazakumullah for your help. Keep revising this exercise because, like I said, it is a bit more difficult. So practice will make perfect, inshallah. Okay. Jazakumullah for your help. Let's choose another student. Let's try a Nasira this time. Let's try N1274. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Is that N1274? Yes. Perfect. Okay. How are you finding the class today? Are you finding the rule okay or difficult or in between? In between. Okay. That means that will uh, that practice will inshallah make it uh, perfect for you. Okay. Inshallah. So what we will do is I want you to on your own just by listening to other students and the rule Keeping in mind the rule, I want you to read this one on your own if you can, please. Manna. Excellent. Perfect. Really happy to see and hear that you are able to read this correct. Okay. So what we will do now is we will move on to this example. Okay. So we will do it one bit at a time. The first bit is a simple jeem with a fata. Ja. Ja. Just one second, okay? Rule ja. Ja. Perfect. Next bit, you have a. Do you know what letter this is? Ha. Excellent. Ha has a fata, and then you have a noon runna because it is a noon with a shadda. So you have to join the ha to the noon, hold that nasal sound in your nose for two seconds, and then produce the fata sound. Han. Hanna. Excellent. Let's try this together. Jahanna. Jahanna. Excellent. And at the end, ma. Ma. Jahannama. Jahannama. Perfect. One more time on your own. Jahannama. Yeah. Yeah. Straight away, join the ha to the noon. Okay? Do not stretch the ha sound out for too long. Straight away, join the ha to the noon. Hanna. Jahannama. Perfect. Really, really good, mashallah. Okay? I can see, I can hear that you are trying, which is excellent. So over here, instead of saying, Jahanna. You're not saying it like this. You are joining straight away ha to the noon and then producing that two second nasal sound. Okay? Jahannama. Jahannama. Perfect. Really, really good, mashallah. And the next one, try and do this by yourself. Zen. Yeah. Zen. Zenna. Okay. Now, the noon over here, what does it have on top of it? Uh, shadda. Shadda. Excellent. And we've just read that if shadda, shadda is on top of the noon, then a runna sound is formed. Okay. And what does runna mean? Uh, an, a nasal sound. Yes. For how many seconds? Two seconds. Two seconds, exactly. So this means that we produce a nasal sound for two seconds when you join the za to the noon. Okay? So straight away join the za to the noon. Zanna. Zanna. Okay, excellent. I think right now what you are doing is instead of producing that two second nasal sound on the noon, you are stretching the sound for two seconds after you've said the noon sound. Okay? So the correct way is Zanna. 
Then. Uh, so do you do you understand where you made the mistake? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Excellent. We'll do one more with you. Let's try this one. Okay. Just follow my hand. Read. Read this bit. How would you read the first bit? No. Perfect. And try and join the meme to the noon now. Bearing in mind that the noon has a shutdown on it. Muna. Perfect. Excellent, Rachel. Really good. All together now. Can you try by yourself? Namun. Wait. Namun. Na. Excellent, excellent. Really well done, Mashallah. I can really see that you are taking uh, into account all the rules that you've learned so far and then applying them when, whilst you're reading. Okay, and we will do just one more with you. So try this one. Just do it one bit at a time. So first bit is. So fa. This, yes, the letter fa with a fata fa. Fa. Okay, now this bit is a bit uh, is different to what you've been doing right now because the noon has a shadda, okay, which makes it a noon runna, and then it has a vertical fata. So so far you've been looking at noon runna with a just a simple fata, but now this has a vertical fata. So what you do is you join the ta to the noon, hold that nasal sound in your nose for two seconds. And then you stretch the ma out sound out for two seconds as well because of the vertical fatah. So just follow after me. Then then excellent. Well done. So do you understand? You produce that two second nasal sound and then the na sound is said for two seconds because of the vertical fatah as well. Okay? So and then at the end you have who. Cool. Yes. So let's try it all together. Fatanahu. Sorry, I'll do that one again. Fatanahu. 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 Okay. Fatanahu. Right. Okay. Let's try one more time. Fatanahu. Okay, right now you're doing the nasal sound really perfectly, which is great, but then the na sound out for two seconds as well because of the vertical factor. So let's do it one bit at a time. Excellent. Fatana Who Who Fatana Who Fatana Who Excellent. Really, really good. Okay, so we finally got there, which is excellent because I can understand that it's a bit more of a longer word and then there's more things to do as well. Okay. Other than that, you're doing really, really well, mashallah. Just make sure to practice. Okay, uh -huh. so I will set you homework at the end of this class, but make sure you practice. Okay? Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Yes, sure, go on. Is this Friday, is today, is this week's Friday, um, Friday this... class still on? Yeah. Okay, so we don't know yet. It all depends on um, when Hazur's um, khutbah is going to be delivered and what time. So it might be that our class is cancelled. It might not be. Yeah. So what we will do is we will uh, inform you as soon as we have more information. Okay? Okay. So we do not know yet, but when we do, we will let you know. Okay. Jazakallah. Okay then. Okay, so mashallah, everybody so far is reading really, really well. And like I said, I can understand that it is a bit more of a difficult lesson and uh, we will be practicing. Okay, so let me choose one more student. Let's try a piffle this time. A1221. Yeah. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. 
Is that A1221? Assalamu alaikum, Ji. Okay, excellent. So, I, how are you finding the class? Um, I find them a bit difficult. Okay, I can understand. Okay, I can understand that a lot of you might be finding it difficult. But like I said, uh, practice is key. So we will be doing some now and then I want you to at home practice and then you will be doing it again in another class. Okay? Okay. We will move on to exercise 14.3 uh, where there's more words and this time we're mixing up noon wana and meem wana. Okay? Noon okay. wana is when noon has a shadda and meem wana is when neem has a shadda. Okay? So over here, let's try with um, first of all, I want you to, on your own if you can, just read this bit. Just read this example for me. Uh, um, okay, this, letter, this first letter is a noon. Okay. Noon with a fata na. Na mu ni na. Yeah. Join the meme to the noon. Uh, okay. So what you do? Na mu na. Okay. You've got the basics right, but because we're learning today about the runna, and runna means that you have to hold that nasal sound, that noon sound in your nose for two seconds, okay? Namunna. Namunna. Excellent. Okay? So rather than saying namunna, you're saying namunna. Namunna. Do you hear the difference? Yeah. yeah. You understand yeah. the difference between when you hold the nasal sound and when you don't. Okay? Yeah. So that's what we're learning today. So okay. I want to let's do a simpler one with you maybe. Let's try this one. Okay? So can you try saying this? So this is a simple sod with a fat with a dhamma and then a ra with a sukoon. So you join the sod to the ra. Can you join these together? So Sur, excellent, well done. And over here, you have a ha with a dhamma and then a moon with a shadda. So you produce a nasal sound over here for two seconds. So, hunna. 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 Excellent. Sur, hunna. Sur, hunna. Sur, hunna. Sarkunna. This is who? Hunna. Sarkunna. Excellent. All together? Sarkunna. Sarkunna. Excellent. Well done. Let's try this one now. Okay? So this is Alif with a Fata. A. A. Then you have a Jim with a Kasra. And then a noon with a shadda, which means you join the jim to the noon, and then you hold that nasal sound in your nose for two seconds. Jinna. Jinna. A jinna. A jinna. Excellent. And then at the end, you have a ta with a dhamma then. Okay, then we at the top. So, tun. Tun. Hold, hold that nasal sound at the end as well. Dun. Dun. Excellent. Ah. Ah. Jinna. Jinna. Dun. 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 Ah, Jinna. Dun. Ah, Jinna. Dun. Excellent. Well done. I can really see that you're trying, which is excellent. That's really, really good. But just keep practicing this exercise, okay? Inshallah, you will get um, to grips with the actual rule, okay? And like I said, okay. you will be practicing in every class, okay? Jazakumullah for your help. Keep revising. Kadaf. Allah Okay, so I can see 
that everybody, mashallah, is really, really trying hard to understand the rule and then apply it. Um, before we move on, I want to just write down the homework for today. And the homework is to practice exercise 14.3 till you feel that you're fluent. Okay, and if you feel that exercise 14.3 is too difficult for you, you can always try and practice exercise 14.1 and 14.2 before, and then practice exercise 14.3 when you feel a bit more confident. Okay, so that's your homework. Um, practice exercise 14.3 until you feel that you are fluent. And that is page 47 on your Tehseen al-Quran uh, books. So please write down this homework um, because like I said uh, until you practice um, it's it's very difficult to understand this rule. Okay so that was your homework. I hope, hope you've all written it down. I will go back and we will try another student to see if you are able to uh, recite some words, uh, some words for us. Let's try and now sit out this time. Let's try just one second. N1306. Aslam Nikum. N1306. Aslam Nikum. Wa alaikum salam. Have I got the right ID? Yeah. Okay, excellent. So, uh, how are you finding the class? Do you understand the rule? Uh, yeah. You do? Okay, excellent. Yes, so what we, will, what we will do is we will do some examples from Excess 14.3 with you. So let's try this one. Can you read this for me? Someone. Excellent. So the meme gonna bit was excellent. You read that really, really well. Just keep in mind, Tanween, this is a Dhamma Ten at top. When you say this, that Noon sound at the end, you also need to pronounce for two seconds. Someone. Someone. Excellent. Well done. Really, really good, mashallah. What we will do is we will do one more. Let's do this one at the end. Mim, mim, Excellent. Okay. So you join the meme to the meme and then you produce that nasal sound of the meme for two seconds because of the shadda and then you join the noon because of the sakin, sukun. Mim man. Mim man. Excellent. Well done. Let's try this one with you. Innahu. Excellent. Re well done. But just at, over here, Alif has a fatha. Annahu. Annahu. Excellent. Well done. Really, really good. Okay. Noon has a shadda, which makes it a noon gunna. So you hold that noon sound in for your nose for two seconds. And then the ha has a inverted dhamma. So you pronounce that for two seconds as well. Okay. Excellent. Really, really good. Let's do one last one. Can you do this one? Al -yam, al -yam. Excellent, well done. So you join the alif to the lam, al, and then the meme has a shadda, so a nasal sound. Yummy. Al -yammi. Excellent, well done. Really, really good, mashallah. You read excellently, okay? Mashallah, so just keep revising that and practicing this exercise and inshallah you will get even better and better okay what i'm going to ask you to do is stay on the line and i will ask you to end the class with me by reading the short prayer okay okay so, please repeat after me today we will be doing uh, both these lines okay so we'll do this line and we will do this line as well okay repeat after me a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma rahmani. Allahumma rahmani. Bil Quranil Azim. 
Bilqur'anil Azim. Excellent. Can you read the translation for me? Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the great Quran. Excellent. Now the next line. Waj'al huli. Waj'al huli. Imamaw wa. Imamaw wa. Nooraw wa. Nooraw wa. Hudaw wa. Hudaw wa. Rahmah. Rahmah. Excellent. Well done. Really nicely read. Okay. And the translation now? And make it for me. The leader, the light, the guidance and the mercy. Excellent. Well done. Really nice. We read Jazakumullah for your help. Now, Jazakumullah. Okay. So, mashallah, like I said, everybody read really, really well today. I can tell that everybody was trying really hard to get uh, to grips with the rule and apply it correctly. Please make sure you do your homework. I'll display it again. Nasalization, practice exercise 14.3. Uh, till you feel that you are fluent okay keep practicing keep revising and inshallah you will uh, perfect this rule as well okay so jazakumullah to everybody for joining us in today's class and inshallah see you all again same time tomorrow assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh